Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna burn down my house. Bitches, they tell me I glowed up. Niggas want me on the poster. Keep the energy closer. Pouring the kid with a chauffeur. That shit they be talking, I'm watching it. That bitch that you got, I be watching it. My bro got a gun and he popping it. These bitches I see him, I'm loving it. Yeah. What is up, guys? This your boy Juan back at it again with another video. Yeah, y'all reading the title right. Uh, boy. Uh, but this, this might be a story time, basically. Yeah. Oh, God. And you know what's crazy, too? This all happened. Like, this is literally about to be a whole week since this shit happened. And, like, you and I definitely could have told this story on Wednesday. But, you know, again, I was being a lazy bastard. So, I thought, which is Friday, it would be a perfect day to do it. So, honestly, let's just get the story time started. Alright, y'all, so before we get started with the video, yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to do a few things for me. I'm gonna need y'all to like this video. I, I need y'all to. I need y'all to like this story. And I'm gonna also need y'all to share the story as well because, again, okay, this shit was crazy, bro. I'm not joking, bro. And also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And make sure y'all follow me on my two social media. I would really appreciate all that as well. So, yeah, let's uh, get into the story talk. Um. Shit, this this is gonna be crazy. Uh, basically, this all happened on Saturday. My day off again last week. Uh, last Saturday again with my day off. You know, just chilling. You know, all that stuff. You know, sleep, play video games, and you know, all that crazy shit. So I don't, I don't exactly know what time, but actually I do know what time. Like it was like around nine o'clock basically. So I decided to go out to like you know. Go to um the store to you know get myself some little snacks. Then I'm to like this pizza place uh, that's next to it. I'm to like get a burger because I'm this is basically how the fire kind of started basically. But I told my little brother working well, yeah, a little bit more. But um I told him to like turn on the grease at a specific time because um I knew for a fact I was gonna make it by the like by the time I make it there the oil will already be heated up heated up but. I'm gonna make some fries with my burger basically and you know once I got my burger and I came home you know my brother was on the couch on his phone basically and he didn't even notice like the little light smoke the little light smoke and I like, smelled something burning so basically I went in the kitchen you know the pot was like the pot was burning like it wasn't like at first it wasn't that bad like, it was really not that bad. Like, it was just a burnt pot, basically, with the oil. So, I thought to myself, all I got to do is turn it off and, like, you know, move the stove. Bitch, I was fucking wrong. I was so fucking wrong at that point. Because, before I went to decide to turn it off, the shit, like, came up in fiber. Like, the, like the pot came in fiber. Like, up in flames. Well, not in flames. It, it did come up in flames, but like it was basically on fire. So again, like me and my brother like, was kind of panicking. I was panicking, like kind of a little bit. My brother was definitely panicking. So my brother thought it was a good idea to like get a cup of water and hand it to me so I could put on the pot. But me knowing that for a fact that that would be a bad idea because again, you're not supposed to mix water with a burning pot that has oil in it. But again, I'm trying to handle the situation myself. And yeah, I basically poured it in the, well, I didn't put a whole, I didn't dump the whole water in. Like, as soon as I like, poured some of it in, the, the whole the whole thing just came up in flames, like blazing. And like, mind you, I, my brother was like near the back door and like, I was like close to the stove, but I was kind of like in like a little good distance from it. But once that shit came up in flames, like I felt the like the heat, like I I literally felt the, like I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it didn't seem like I got burned because like it like, like, I actually felt the heat on my two fingers and like like my head, like I actually felt the heat on my head basically. And okay, my brother was in nowhere near. Yeah, but I was kind of close to it because, you know, again, I pulled the water in the pot. And again, it went up in flames. <coughs> it 
went up in flames and like as soon as that happened again my brother went out the door like I fell on the floor pretty much and my crawled out and again I my brother was still inside sleeping but luckily like it didn't like spread all over the house pretty much but like it was it was still bad for God but again it just fell over the house so again once that happened um um, once, like, the smoke came out and all that, um, my brother went to go get out of my mom. I basically turned off the stove and took the pot outside because why, why wouldn't anybody get the pot inside of the house? And again, my mom came and, you know, basically put out the fire by using salt, which, again, you're supposed to use salt to put out fire. So, yeah, like, again, I, I knew there was something you were supposed to use, to put out the fire, but again, I was again, I was panicking, and I thought I was able to handle the situation. So after that happens, you know, again, the ceiling was black, the, the cabinets were fed, like basically everything was fed, but not to a certain degree, you know, not like it was destroyed or or anything like that. But uh, basically, we tried to um, kind of like clean up try to like clean up the ceiling of it for the most part like it definitely kind of like took us like pretty much a week at this point right now like um as of like tomorrow it'll definitely be a week but it definitely took us a week to basically like clean up like the top of the ceiling and like the walls as well um the walls we still need to like kind of work on as well as the cabinets but for the most part um it's good and again i i still like after that like i still felt like the burning sensation like, like, something was cooking inside of my head. So, you know, I, I put an ice pack on my head for, like, a few hours. And then, like, kind of went away after. So, you know, I thought, you know, everything was good. You know, was good. You know, again, my mom checked on my head. She said it was, it looked like it's fine. Like, like I didn't catch any fire on my head. So, again, I thought I was good. But wait! Boy, was I wrong. I was fucking wrong. <laughs> but... Oh boy. So the next day, which is Sunday, um, basically I had to work, you know, work, you know, get my money, get my little hours and shit like that. So after I came home from work, you know, I took a shower, you know, washed up, and, you know, put sh shampoo on my head, you know, washed my hair. And once I got out the shower and like dried my hair, you know, I usually sometimes like kind of like for my head, you know, check. You know, kind of see how how soft it is sometimes. But like, like as I was like warming through my head, like I kind of like I felt like kind of like this wet spot, like that like usually it be um usually be from what you take when you get out the shower. But like the wet wet spot, it felt very really different. And then like like I like I went through like my finger through it and. Like, when I saw what it was, it looked like a piece of skin. So I was like, let me grab a piece of tissue. So I grabbed the piece of tissue, like, I damped it on top of my head. And I saw, like, this light, this light red on my head. I was like, but I swear to God. So, after I got out the bathroom, I came out room, I took my phone, put on my, like, camera modes to see what's on the back of my head. But... The shit. I, I, I might as well show you the picture. Like, oh, look at the top God. of his head. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my God, my head, but, dude, I, um, I don't got no words, but the fact that I got it on my head, but the shit was terrible. And that, that can go ahead and watch me in the comments with that picture. That that can do that. But but when I saw that shit, I was I was so devastated. I was sad, pissed, and everything. I showed my mom. I showed my dad. I showed my brother. And I'm like, but I. I might should go ahead and show y'all what it looks like, like before, like what the shit was like. We, again, we started cleaning it, but like that's basically what it what it looks like. You know, we was like cleaning and stuff. 
and like it, 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 it was just bad. Like it, it was so so bad, bro. Like it, it was bad. I mean, once again, it wasn't that bad, but it was definitely bad. But luckily, we was able again. We was able to like clean up all of the black ash, look it to like how it kind of was, and then we basically actually painted it. I'm actually going to show you how to cook right now. It kind of looks almost brand new with the exception of like, you know, the little squipped up mugs on top of the ceiling. The only thing we need to work on is like the walls, because the walls do still have like some of that um, black ash. And then like we do need to work on the cabinets as well because, you know, the cabinets also got scorched as well. But again, like I literally, me and my family could almost lost our life because of that shit. Because, because of my impatience. So, once again, lesson learned, do not turn on the oven. Well, in this case, yeah, do not turn on the uh, the, the oven or the, the stove when you're not near there. Because, but, uh, again, I, I could have lost, I could have lost my life, my brother, my mom, our neighbors, again, it was because of my impatience, and I, I, I didn't, but I honestly got no more words to say, but, bro, John, I'm sorry that I got you in that situation, again, it's not your fault, it was my fault, I should have never told you to do, no, you don't really watch anything, but again, it was my fault, it's not your fault, I'm sorry, mom, for it. Almost burned it down the house. I really, really do. I apologize. And again, hopefully, this shit does never, ever happen again. But yeah, honestly, again, I, I feel like God was watching over us. Even though I don't really pray to Him or got a chuckle like that, but I, I feel like He was watching over us. It's like it's not our time yet. So, honestly, I have to appreciate the work that I have, basically. But, yeah, that, that's basically it. Yeah, I'm gonna burn down the fucking house. Like, that shit was crazy. But either way, I better go ahead and end this video because I know it's super long and I gotta edit it too. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Just gotta get up there when we got a live stream, post videos and stuff like that. And tomorrow, I do got a video coming up for you guys. I am going to be doing a sneaker review. Um, Hopefully, the sneaker that's being released tomorrow, I hope, hopefully, I'll get it. But if not, I'm going to be doing a video, which is going to be like a different video of like an alternative video in this case. So, thank you guys for watching, and peace. <laughs>